Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Thorium mod. As you can see, there is another lovely blood moon going on outside, because, of course, why wouldn't there be? I make enough jokes about it, of course there has to be one at the very beginning of this video. You know, what I haven't experienced yet in hard mode is a goblin invasion, or a goblin army, whatever you want to call that thing. I haven't had one of those happen to me yet. It's like the only thing that hasn't happened yet. I've only ever had the pirates once. I've dealt with a hundred million blood moons and blizzards and sandstorms and I'm surprised there isn't a hurricane. Something to deal with in the ocean because why not? I mean I guess I kind of did have to deal with a blood moon while I was in the aquatic depths but whatever. So yeah everything's going really well. I've got a lot of friends outside my gates right now. I uh, did a little bit of stuff off camera. Uh, the most exciting thing of which is that that's right ladies and gentlemen we finally have a nurse named Helen. She just arrived just earlier this morning. It was fantastic. She showed up and made herself at home up here. The old nurse got murdered by, of course, you guessed it, more Blood Moon enemies. And uh, yeah, she got comfortable. And the first thing I thought to myself when I saw that was, well, you're not going to be living there. So I buried her 100 million miles below the surface in her comfortable box down there by the underworld. And that's where she's going to stay because she can't be trusted to survive anywhere else. So all that aside, I did do some things off camera, got myself a few new items. The main thing, of course, being these subspace wings that I saw before. Souls of Flight finally went up and got those, which are useful for a few different things. I got a lot of them to make the uh, wings that'll be showing up later on. Got those out of the way. And of course, the wyverns are something that the tracker wanted me to murder, so I got that covered as well. And I got this thing called an auto-tuner. It uh, increases max inspiration by two, just like the headset. Uh, but this thing causes your symphonic damage to increase the level of one of your active empowerments. This effect can only trigger once every 2.5 seconds. So the thing is actually relatively handy because I'm kind of bouncing through different empowerments all the time and uh, just having one of them get randomly more powerful is pretty good. We like that. So I threw that thing on as well. It comes from the steampunker. She moved in down there where I don't remember who used to live there. A lot of my NPCs have died, hence the reason why I buried Helen. But she's here, she's arrived, and she's never going to see the light of day again for the entire rest of this Let's Play unless I have to go down there to the uh, to the depths again. Um, Of course there's a blood moon going on right now. I have the doors blocked off, but of course there's a blood moon going on right now because I wanted to go over and explore the dungeon or not the dungeon the jungle again i get those two mixed up all the time uh yeah so we're gonna go over there it's gonna be a lot of fun i really kind of don't want to go over there to deal with that in the middle of a blood moon but you know is what it is guess we'll just try to survive the best i can because in the last episode we i want to say mop the floor with the mech bosses but i think we all watched the same episode that i recorded i did not mop the floor with anybody but the destroyer which you know what it's pretty nice. I like that. That was uh, that was pretty pretty sweet. Pretty exciting bit of the video. Now we're moving on to the jungle, and I know that I've got to take down the lich and deal with a solar eclipse before I move on to dealing with Plantera. But that doesn't mean I can't go over here and get a whole bunch of good stuff. Oh great, a sandstorm, my favorite. Anyways, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna deal with getting chlorophyte. We're gonna explore, find some new enemies over there. Probably get murdered by them all. I really should have brought a bed along over here. That would have been the smart thing to do. Then I could have put it in my witch doctor's hut. This is gonna be an unpleasant experience. Hi, Abib. How's it going? Uh, don't worry. I didn't forget that you were over here. I just never came back for you. I suppose I could move him home, but I mean, he got evicted. And who did I even put over there where he used to live? He lived next to Erica. The blacksmith moved in over there. I mean, whatever. That's, that's fine. It's totally acceptable. You know what I didn't do? I never went and got any spelunker potions or mining potions. Mm, biomatter. And this stuff still drops over here? Very nice. Is that a life bloom set? Minion set. Great. Well, I guess we're going back. Anyways, good job, me. Off to a really good start. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'll just throw the bed down right there. Goodbye, Abib. Again, we're back once more in the jungle. We're going to try this one more time. Finally, the blood moon ended, so I guess that little trip back there kind of saved me the agony of trying to go through down here while that was going on. Also, I guess it kind of reminded me a little bit of it because I'm going down here to get life fruits. I did go and get those things from the aquatic depths. I don't remember what they're called. Those... What is that thing? Moss wasp. God, that is ugly. Anyways, I did go down there and get those things from the aquatic depths to increase my movement speed. I did that right before I started fighting the mech bosses, so I didn't forget. I did do what you guys said. Um, I just forgot to mention it in all the other off-camera stuff that I did. It just slipped my mind. Uh, you know what? Because I'm a forgetful person, and honestly, if you guys didn't know that, then you must be new here because I'm a very forgetful person. But yeah, moving on along down the line here, let's see what all we can find in the jungle. So far, it looks like lots of new stuff. We're looking for chlorophyte, though. 
Chlorophyte and life crystals. Or not life crystals, hearts. Whatever the things are. Am I able to walk on water? Is that a thing that I can do now? Am I crazy? Hold on a second. I can. What's letting me do that? Oh, it's the firestorm boots. That's right. I forgot that I even got those things last time. I like a seat. See what I mean? A very forgetful man. I'm wearing something that lets me walk on water, and I've made them, and i put them on, and I've had my eye on them for several episodes now, and I still don't know what they do. All I know is that I need to have them. That's, that's the important thing. God, everything down here hits so hard. It's almost like I'm in hard mode or something. What is hitting me? What's happening? Oh, who are you? Hag, get out of here, you trash creature. You garbage human being, or whatever you are. One of the only monsters in this game that actually looks like a regular person, and they're evil. Why can't we just be friends, you know? Why can't we just get along? Hey, there's one of those things up there. Those heart crystal life fruit thingamadoodles. The life of a life of a fruital, whatever. Anyway, they're not materials, thank God. But I do want to give them to the cook, it looks like it said. So I'll have to grab as many of those as I can. I'm not at all in any way, shape, or form planning on fighting Plantera right now. I am, however, planning on dying very quickly because I thought that I killed the mob and I heard a splat, but turns out it was actually me that died. Thank God I saved my spawn because how long did I even make it down here? Did I even make it a whole minute down here before I got murdered? Anyways, I'm not going to be killing Plantera just yet. Like I said, I'm going to be focusing mostly on getting as many of the good stuff from down here that I can get. And then we're gonna go try to take down the Lich who I heard is horribly, painfully difficult to beat. And he might be. He might not be. We'll just have to find out, because whenever it comes to bosses and me, whether or not they're hard really doesn't make a difference. I'll find a way to die to them embarrassingly anyway. Okay, round in the corner down here. There looks to be a new life fruit as well. Lots of, uh, lots of not chlorophyte down here, I think I'll say. I was gonna say, oh, there's at least a good bit of it down here, but really, I feel like there normally is a lot more. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm going crazy, which, you know what? I feel like going already went. Could be the case. I just feel like there should be more of this down here. Maybe I'm not seeing it the right way. I don't know how else there is a, a way to see it. That doesn't even make any sense as a statement. Maybe I'm not seeing things the correct way. Maybe what I'm looking at right in front of my face is not what it is that I think it is. It might be something else. No, I'm just an idiot. That's the problem. Story of my life, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, garbage. Thanks. Oh, I don't even know why I'm opening these thinking that I'm going to find something of value in there. Stuff's been there since pre-hard mode. If I haven't found it yet, I'm not going to find it. You know what else? Speaking of not finding things, I don't even think I found the lizard temple yet down here. I don't even remember if I did. Oh, no, it's down there. It's way over there. Okay, fine. Cool. I guess I did find it. Whatever. Good job, past pixels. Thanks for tracking that down for me. You know, I, I'm doing the thing again. I should probably double check to see if there's anything of value that I can get out of Chlorophyte before I go even bothering trying to make the stuff. Okay, Chlorophyte bars. Everything looks to be normal here. Standard stuff. Shroomite, useful for anything? Not really, unless you're range or mage. Not really a value. I don't need that to make any fancy endgame stuff, so that's all that matters to me, thank God. Hmm, Spectre bars. Anything of value there? Probably a lot of range and healer stuff, looks like it. Oh, there is something there, so I guess I might want to grab that. Ghastly French horn. Very nice. Everything else looks to be ranged in melee. Okay, cool. Let's see. The green tambourine. Something else that I could make. And the maw. Made it of bloom weave and chlorophyte. Bloom weave. What's that stuff? Ornate. Oh, it's a new set that I can make. But what is bloom weave? Unlike anything I've ever seen before. What drops it? Is that like a plantera thing? I'm assuming that it is. Hold on a second. We can find this out. Ah, God, no, I'm being attacked by Medusa. Get out of here. Disgusting. Disgusting. Anyways, what does Plantera drop? It doesn't say anything about Bloom Weave here. Well, where does it come from then? Does somebody sell it? Does it drop from things? Oh well, whatever. We'll have to find that out later. I can make some barred weapon though. Turtle drums. I need turtle shell and chlorophyte. Okay, cool. Life binder set. The effuser. There's a bunch of healer stuff here. Summoner magic. Okay, great. So there are a few musical instruments that I can make out of chlorophyte, so there's a reason to get a good bit of it. Need to get cloth. Isn't that the, uh, can I just make that out of, where is it at? There it is. Make it out of cobwebs. Okay, I'm good. I can make a whole bunch of that stuff. It doesn't make any sense. Why do I make cloth at a workbench, but I make silk at a loom? Do you not make cloth at a loom? Those of you loomists out there, whatever your job title might happen to be. What is this thing? Lodestone. Oh, I remember. I got this from What's-His-Face. It's pretty much entirely worthless now. Okay, good. As I suspected. Oops. Oh. Well, that's fine. I didn't want there to be a marble biome here anymore anyway. Well, at least it's opening the area up so I can get to all the nice juicy chlorophyte. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, do you think chlorophyte is juicy? Do you think it's like... Because I know like some plants... Okay, listen. I'm not an experienced plantologist. Okay, I'm definitely not a plantologist. And I'm definitely not a loomist either. I'll tell you that much. Um, but I do know, in my experience, that some plants are are juicy or 
you know, they contain a liquid. Can I hit the target? What's what's going on in front of my face that's making it so I can What are these sniper hornets that won't let me hit them? I'm literally clearly shooting directly at him. Come on, die. What's going on? This is ridiculous. I'm gonna get- I was gonna say, I'm going to get murdered by a hornet that's hiding behind one solid mud block. The jungle, man. I'm telling you what. This jungle. Every jungle. At all times, everywhere. Anyways, back to the juicy plants. Plants contain juice, that's my PSA, alright? Plants contain juice, and I wonder if the plant rock also contains juice. I'm like really pushing with life here right now, it looks like too. I am like not regenerating. Where is my string instrument whenever I need it? I need that defense and damage reduction. I don't know how that guy didn't kill me. That was so slick. How did that guy not murder me? I am, I'm really like, I'm skirting the line here between life and death. Now I'm gonna get murdered by silt. God, everything is painful. Why is the jungle always painful? And it's not even the things that are like jungle related that are painful, it's just everything else. The, the jungle makes me angry. Is it because I asked if your plants were juicy? Is that what it is? Do you have a problem with me doing that? Because, you know, are you afraid of the truth? That's it. It's the title of this video right now. Juicy plants. Juicy plants in the jungle. It's another one of those moments where you're gonna go, hey, when you read the title and then you're gonna listen to this part and there it'll be. You're welcome for giving you that experience. Have a nice day. Don't leave though. We're still we're still doing more exploration. Okay, ah, God, more of these things. What are you, Cthulhu Hornet? Why do you have so many eyeballs? Thank God that hornets in real life don't have eyes like that. That's terrifying. Where are all the life fruits at? Do I need to wait a little bit longer for them to grow? I did kind of give it a little while. I let the thing run so it'd be full of them, but I guess it didn't work. Ooh, turtles. I need to get turtle shells. I know that. I don't remember if I gathered any while I was building a hut for the witch doctor forever ago. Oh, here it comes a worm. What is it? What kind of creature is it? You. Come on, come back. Are you telling me that I, that blast didn't do enough damage to you to kill you? Okay, let's see. I'm kind of disappointed with the sheer lack of chlorophyte and life fruits that I'm coming across right here. I thought I would come across more by now. All of the projectiles from my barred weapons are too big to fit through small gaps, which is like the home element of these bugs. It's so disappointing. I need something that goes through walls, Thorium. Must be some dense mud to prevent sound waves from traveling through them. I think you need to work on your physics, huh? Work on your, your reality, okay? Straighten that out. You're welcome for the feedback. What I'm saying is, is that sound waves travel through solid objects all the time, so every single barred weapon should be able to travel through walls because of physics. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. God. Every time I start hearing things, just get a little nervous. Start thinking that the world's about ready to start deconstructing itself. It is a fun little game that I play, though. I go down into a biome in a new Let's Play after I finish the last one. I'm like, you know what? What did I forget to take off Vein Miner this time? Find out more in 10 minutes. When I begin my exploration and I'm just mining through my business, when all of a sudden, there goes the world. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. I love this mod, though. It ruined mining for me, but hey, you know what? Whatever. Find me a game where mining is fun to begin with. What's more tedious, mining ore by hand without any kind of modded assistance or just fishing? That's, that's probably the two for me, the most boring things to do in this game. Well, not really boring, but the most tedious. At least while you're mining, you're exploring. That's my argument. Mining might be tedious and repetitive without a mod to help you, but at least you're not just standing in one spot doing nothing waiting for a thing to happen. God, what's hitting me? What was it? Oh, an anglerfish. Ah, the native jungle anglerfish. Yes, indeed. Ah, yes, the beautiful jungle anglerfish. Traveling through the depths of the oceans and the jungles and the caves underground. Don't know why it does that, but it does. Okay, so the hornets are starting to get a little bit on the tedious side. At least I'm not running out of inspiration every five seconds right now. That's probably the thing that I'm the most happy about. Hey, I came down here before. I think I remember making a comment about this place down here and how cool it looked. About ready to tear it apart. I'm trying to find some things. How much chlorophyte do I have? I've got a good bit of it. Okay, there it is, right up there in the top left. All right, so I've got 529, 535 chlorophyte right now. That should probably be enough to make a good bit of things, I think. Shouldn't have any problems with it. Now all I'm looking for right now is just some life fruits. God, I'm starting to get deep down here, and I keep getting hit by everything because I'm moving through too quickly, and I'm not paying attention to my surroundings. And I'm out of torches, great. Ow, God, no, give me a second to make torches, then hit me. Actually, you know what? Hold off on the hitting me. I don't really want that. Ah! You know what? It's fine. I wanted to go back to my base anyway. I had things to look at, stuff to do. Hi, Abib. The arms dealer has arrived. I didn't realize that he was gone. Strange. Okay, fine. Let's go back. Ooh, gold is sitting around. Interesting. Alrighty, let's go back to my base very slowly and meticulously. Why am I moving so slowly? I should not be. I've got 
subspace wings. Pretty sure subspace is fast. All I gotta say, you know what? Thank God it's not a blood moon. Oh, tell me that the arms dealer moved in up here. No, he didn't. Okay. Who's the next best person to move up here? Is there somebody over here that wants to come over? Who wants to come over? We'll bring over Santa Claus. I'll live with Santa Claus for the holidays. And then whenever Christmas is over and I'm still doing a Let's Play about this, we'll kick him out. Actually, I think he'll kick himself out. I don't really remember how it works. Okay, let's make some chlorophyte bars. Actually, wait, is the ore useful? No, it isn't. Okay. Let's make a bunch of bars here. How many we got? 89. And let's look over, see if there's anything that I can make right now. Okay, there's the green tambourine. Actually, I do have turtle drums. Okay. So I can make both of them. Is there something else that I could make? I thought there was a third weapon, the maw. I can't make that until I have bloom weave. Which I'm thinking probably comes from Plantera. Because I didn't see... This stuff doesn't make it. Whatever. Okay, the green tambourine. Nice. And turtle drums. Anything else really standing out here? I don't think there's anything else that I could make right now yet. Everything looks to be about the same. And until I defeat Plantera, I can't go and get any of the Spectre stuff. So that looks like that's about it until I can make the ornate set. Or whatever it was that it was called. With whatever comes from Plantera, I'm assuming. Okay, let's see what this stuff does. The green tambourine. Oh, wow. Fancy. Throws out an endless amount of groovy verdant tambourines. Playing empowers players with bonus jump height and flight time. Well, that could be a good replacement for Hell's Bell. Because that's the empowerment that I want. Have my movement speed empowerment here. And then we've got the fabled turtle drums. This thing, they went all out with these. Gave me the best affix possible. Into inspiration releases two horizontal bursts of sound, deals additional damage to enemies on the ground. Oh, wow. Okay. And you give me aquatic ability, movement speed, and jump height. So you're all mobility. So I guess it's whichever one of these I want to use. I might end up using this. They're both percussion. I don't know. We'll hold on to it. I have to do some thinking about it. I don't really know whether or not this will be any good. Where's all the mobs that I'm looking for? Now there's not even any penguins outside my base. Oh, there's one inside. Yeah, it works pretty good. Uh, nothing else really of note come out of the jungle, though, unfortunately. I can't do anything with the old resources. And aside from what I can't get yet, there's not really anything new that I can make. I still got a little bit of time left. I don't really really want to call it an episode just yet. The video is probably going to end up being pretty short, so maybe I could throw a solar eclipse in here. That'd be pretty nice. It's a 1 in 20 chance to start every day, so maybe I could just hang out here for a little while. Wait a minute. See if I'll get a solar eclipse the next day? Maybe. That'd be really great to get right now. I don't know if there's any way to summon one yet, so I guess it's just patience. Patiently awaiting. All right, well, let's wait and see if we get a solar eclipse. Hopefully we do. Actually, you know what? Instead of standing here like a dum-dum, I think I'm actually going to go all the way back over to the jungle and just kind of do some exploration to see if I can find anything new. A lot of Blood Moon stuff just hanging around. I'll go over to the jungle, and I'll go look at around down there for some life fruits, see if I can get as many of those as I can, and then we'll come back if there's a solar eclipse. If not, I don't really know. I kind of want one of those. I could try maybe the next wave of the Old Ones Army. Could give that a shot and see if that works out any good. That worked out really well the first time I gave it a try. Lichen, I don't liken anything about you. <laughs> Get it? Ah, make fun of my dad jokes all you want, but at least I'm not named after a type of moss. And yes, I know it's spelled completely differently, but it sounds the same, okay? I don't really know what those words... I, I, don't, I don't know the, the, the phonetics, if that's the right word. But listen, let me have my joke. Named after a moss, all right? Anyways, to the jungle. Hi-ho, silver! Well, unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to be getting a solar eclipse today. There's a new healer item from this guy, Divine Lotus. Summons a large, growing lotus upon your cursor position. Over a period of time, lotus will need to mature. When fully mature, the lotus releases healing floral energy. Okay. Okay, nothing else really all that much of value, though. I died a lot over there in the jungle, by the way, which was a lot of uh, excitement, I suppose. Didn't really get anything, unless I'm very, very... And I wonder why the penguins don't like me, by the way. Anywho. Uh, yeah, I didn't really get any life fruits at all whatsoever over there. So unless I was exploring in the wrong areas, or maybe I'm just really unlucky, I kind of went all over. I just ignore that X there. It's kind of... It's a weird smudge on the map, but, uh, yeah, I didn't really have any luck. I got a few more chlorophyte ore, but other than that, there's nothing really of value brought back. And it looks like we're not getting a solar eclipse today, so I don't really feel like sitting here and waiting for one to show up. So, and I continue doing it. That's terrible. I don't really feel like sitting here and waiting, so I think I might just end up calling this episode a short one. Uh, I didn't really do a whole lot. Kind of explored the jungle a little bit over there. Uh, didn't really see anything we didn't expect to see over there. Uh, but I'd really like to get as much good stuff as I can from the eclipse and from the jungle before I try to take the lich on, because like I said, I heard he was pretty tough. So, like I said, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.